Uh -huh. <laughs> hey guys. So sorry yesterday's vlog kind of ended abruptly like so many times. I forgot to close out the vlog, but today is Saturday. Today is a beautiful day because I get to go shopping all by myself. Look at there's nobody here. There's nobody here. I'm all by myself. So I'm going to go to JCPenney today because I have a quest. I'm on a quest today. There are another car just pulled up next to me. So this is awkward. I am looking for a jean jacket because of all of the pins I've been buying lately. I need to wear them on a jean jacket. It must happen. So I'm hitting JCPenney today because they have plus size jean jackets. I don't know if I'm plus size. I've got a very large chest and so I might need a plus size. Anywho, I'm going to go explore in JCPenney. We'll see how confident I am in vlogging in public, but... was a very successful trip to JCPenney. I was able to find a jacket, which was really exciting. Um, just because I have weird body proportions, like I've got a really big chest and I've got big hips. Um, so I don't really particularly like it when coats cut me off at the waist, but apparently that's what jean jackets do. So I was able to find one that wasn't too bad. Um, it did have like some distressing on like the shoulder and like on the pocket, which I'm not a huge fan of distressing, but I might like get a patch or something like the one on the shoulder isn't really that noticeable like the collar actually covers it really nicely the one on the pocket is just kind of like ugh, I just don't like holes in my jeans like I don't want to buy something that's brand new with holes in it so I might go to Old Navy and see if they have any jean jackets um, I know I saw some online last night but they didn't have any on my size so I think I might go and check just to be sure but I mean I found that jean jacket for like 30 bucks so I'm like eh, that's not too bad I mean it's not perfect but I don't even know how long I'd be wearing it because who knows how cold things are gonna get here um, plus there is some room to layer with it like I could layer a flannel underneath it which would help keep me warm and like wear a scarf over it. So I think I should be okay. And then I picked up two t-shirts because they were so cute. I couldn't pass them up. The stitch one and then the like circle superhero one. Awesome. I'm kind of like exhilarated that I'm all by myself and like got free range. Like I'm a free range mama and I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to go to um, Old Navy just to see if they have any jean jackets. This is the third time I've seen this woman come to her car, drop off a JC Penny bag and go back into JCPenney. Like, weird, right? Weird. I'm gonna go check Old Navy and then I think I'm gonna go home because Chaz has to get his hair cut and he needs the car to get his hair cut so I can't go like hog wild and go all over town like exploring even though I really, really want to. But I do have lots of editing I gotta get done. Okay guys, so uh, I just finished editing and exporting um, my vlog from Monday and I'm uploading it onto YouTube right now. So within like, it says four minutes, it should be live. It's like a short little vlog because I was not in a great mood for the rest of the day. Um, and I didn't really want to vlog or I didn't want to like put up the rest of that day just because I was really upset and moody and just like depressing. So I'm like, no, let's not worry about that. Let's just share the fun little visit we had to the Capitol building. So it's like literally like, I think it's like maybe three minutes long. While that is uploading and before I can start editing Wednesdays, um, I kind of, I wanted to show you guys some stuff. So I finally, finally unpacked the rest of the boxes that had all my craft stuff from when we had our renovation. I don't know if I actually like the way that I have that organized right now, but it works. For now, this is kind of working for me, but not quite. I'm not quite convinced. Sorry if there's like massive shadowing. I could do shadow puppets. I can do a dog. Ready? 
I have these paper file boxes that I got from the dollar spot at Target. I wanna say these were like $3, but they actually fit 12 by 12 paper perfectly. So I have one, two, three, four, five of these that I have put all of my like 12 by 12 paper. Some of them are still in pads, some of them are loose. I definitely need to go through and do my Kanmari method with all of these and really like eliminate a lot of this paper. But for now, it totally works. And then like I said, I like to pull this in front of it, that way you don't ever have to see it. Out of sight, out of mind. So I was going through my papers and through my pads and I found these like little mermaid um, prints, I guess. Or I bought these at a thrift store like last summer and I totally lost them. Turns out I put them in my paper stack and so now I found them. Um, so there's like, there's the under the sea, there's this really cool one of Ursula that I really, really like. And then there's King Triton with his daughters and then there's uh, like, part of your world reprise. I have no idea what these are from. I don't know where they've come from, what they're a part of. All I know is I paid like two bucks for each of those. So I definitely wanna frame those and either put them in here or put them like in the bathroom or something. Cause like, you know, it's water. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to update you guys is that I got my other pin order. Remember like, Oh, what was that? Several vlogs back, I had told you guys that I needed an intervention because I just bought two more orders. Well, the first order was the mermaid set that I showed you, I think on, it came in on Tuesday. Yesterday, the second order came in. And I'm really excited about this one. Um, but no, these are epic. Like these are my life. Like I'm super excited about these. So they're Daria and Jane best friend pins. <laughs> But yes, my pin game is getting very strong. I'm working real hard to get those pins. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of a way to display them all. Um, I know like the easiest way is probably just getting a picture frame and putting corkboard in it and you just like put them in that way. But then I saw this pin on Pinterest where somebody, or was it Instagram? It might've been Instagram, where somebody had gotten those like wooden letters and they covered them in corkboard or they might've just been corkboard letters. I'm not sure, but they, they spelt out flair. They put their pins on the letters. So I'm like, that is brilliant. Like that's what I want to do. That's kind of the direction I'm, I'm heading as far as like how I want to display my pins and how I want to like show my collection. Cause I'm sure you've noticed several times upstairs that Chaz has a belt buckle collection. He loves belt buckles. And for Father's Day, I made him the belt buckle display that we have in our bedroom. So I'd really like to put like my pin display up in our bedroom since like, you know, he has his belt buckles, I have my pins. Like, I think it would be really, really cute. Kind of like a his and her thing. Okay, so it is nine o'clock. <laughs> the day has flown by. Um, but I really can't say we accomplished much. I don't know. I don't feel like I accomplished much. I got the, when, I think the last time we spoke, I was putting up the Monday vlog that was like all of three minutes. And then the rest of the day was spent editing Wednesday's vlog. We had a little bit of an emotional breakdown today. Um, <laughs> Milo wanted to have pizza in the shape of a rainbow. And so I made pizza tonight, but I forgot to make it in the shape of a rainbow. And he got very upset and he wouldn't come sit down and eat dinner. And he was very mean about it <laughs> in the sense that he didn't want to eat. He said he didn't want to eat anything. Like he was just really, really upset. And so then we had to have a lesson on saying sorry, which he was not really excited about. I think it's just because this is the first time he's like, majorly felt bad about something he's done and he didn't know what was gonna happen once he said sorry. And so I think he was nervous that something bad was gonna happen once he said sorry, I was gonna be mad at him. I'm not quite sure, but he had like severe anxiety about saying sorry, poor little guy. It took him like almost an hour for him to say sorry. Like Chaz had to talk to him and keep reminding him like, mommy loves you. You just have to say you're sorry. And that, you know, it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes, but still the poor little nugget was just 
a little bit emotional and he finally said sorry and we had a very sweet little reconciliation time and then he ate his dinner no problem he said it was delicious and I told him next time I promise I won't forget I'll make it into a rainbow but yeah it was a little bit <laughs> everybody all emotions were very high this evening I still haven't gone for my run for today and I have to do it because it's getting late and I'm getting tired and I need to do it. So I'm gonna go for a run. I'm doing 2.75 miles tonight. It's very late, I know, but I have reflective, it's not really a vest, it's like a holster, I don't know, <laughs> that I wear. So I'm very, very safe, don't worry. Um, I'm hoping to get this done in under 40 minutes. Last time I got it done in under 40 minutes. So as long as I can stay under 40 minutes, I'm fine with that. I'm not looking to break my minute, uh, my mile average, like that's not gonna happen because I am a little bit tired and really stiff today. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna combine um, today's vlog with tomorrow, so it'll be tomorrow in just a couple of seconds. And through the power of YouTube, it is tomorrow. But tomorrow is today, and today is yesterday. <laughs> Anybody watch Arthur? It's from Arthur. Yes, yes, DW. But anyway, yes, it is true. Today is Sunday. It is uh, around two o'clock and I'm just barely opening up this vlog and I'm looking a little bit, you know, ooh, someone's looking nice. I put in some effort today. It's because we had church. <laughs> Wednesday's vlog is edited. It is exporting. I'm getting the terms down and soon I will be uploading to the YouTubes. So it says it's got 65 hours left to export. <laughs> Basically about an hour left. Um, and yeah, and so I just thought, oh, I should probably open up today's vlog because I haven't done that yet. I'm wearing a blanket because it's freezing down here. My office is right, or like my computer is right underneath a um, vent. And even though the vent is closed, it's freezing. And I think it's just because I'm in a basement and then on top of that, I'm basically sitting underneath a vent, so. It's just very chilly. Since that is going to take a while to uh, do its thing, I thought I would start thinking about my nails for this week. Um, I kind of pooped out on this manicure. I think it has great potential. I really like it. I just didn't do my other hand. <laughs> so <laughs> I was doing the laundry at the time. So that's why it's like, I only got one hand finished because I was keeping this hand available so I could like pull the laundry out of the laundry machine and like pull it out of the dryer and stuff and I didn't want to ruin my manicure and since I was doing laundry like basically into the night I never finished my manicure. That's what I do. I'm like oh well I want to do my nails but I'm doing something right now so I just won't do my right hand. That way I can keep doing the project I'm working on so multitasking really high energy today. I'm feeling really, really good. I got great sleep last night. The 2.75 miles that I did, I did it in under 40 minutes, like just barely. It was like 39.46 minutes, but I did it. Um, and I actually shaved off time of my mile, which is pretty cool. So I'm feeling really good about that. And I stretched this morning, so I'm feeling limber and wonderful. Um, and then, yeah, we had church, so I've been filled with the spirit and I'm ready to like get stuff done. So I really want to do my nails and I think I want to do like another like kind of summer nail set because I'm realizing, whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a mosquito. <laughs> That's a big mosquito. Jeez, that was big. <laughs> That's what she said. I thought it was like a spider. Like, you know how that happens when like you're outside and you're sitting under a tree or you're on the porch or something and all of a sudden like a spider like comes down like right in front of your face. <laughs> Ugh, now I'm scared. I threw off my groove. Um, yeah, so I wanna do summer nails. I wanted to do a nail art using the Beach Boys collection from Car Colores de Carol. I think I'm gonna do like a, like a, what do they call it? Like a smooshed mani where you kind of put the colors on a sponge and you sponge it on your nail. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I wanna stamp something on top of it don't know what to stamp so if I had both of my hands I'd you I'd do like the Mr. Burns like excellent but I don't have both my hands unfortunately so I think uh I'm going to do I'm, I think I'm going to show you like all of my stamping plates and we can like you know 
figure out what I'm gonna do together. This is the Beach Boys Live collection from Colores de Carol. Amazing neon holographics that don't need a base coat. So I kind of want it like tie-dye, like, you know, last days of summer, Indian summer kind of kind of vibe going on with these colors, but I don't know what kind of like image to stamp on top of it. So I've got options. So I've got all of my Moyu London plates. So I've got several from the Tropical kit. Um, from the tropical set i've got some from the explorer there's more tropical hipster princess the fashionista the holiday collection there's another explorer the cookbook the sci-fi uh, mother nature and origami and the pro palette and there's one more back here more origami and then this is bundle monster and this is my um binder that i have all of my like round uh stamping plates in. So these are just like uh, a whole bunch of different brands. Like this first page is most of them are, what is this, Cheeky? See, now we're getting into the holiday ones. So there's Christmas, more Christmas, Halloween, Easter. I really like these holiday plates from Bundle Monster. They're probably my favorites, even though I don't really use them that often because they're basically holiday sets, but I really like them. More geometric patterns. I think these are from Winstonia now. We're getting into my Winstonia collection. And then we've got, these are plates from Bundle Monster. They're kind of like the, the random like collage plates where you can pick whatever you want. I've got these really cool Bundle Monster large plates. Their Time Machine collection was really fun. I've got some of their Polynesian collection. And then I've got the Paris and the India one as well. I still really like the idea of the sunglasses. Um, I also kind of think these little puffer fish would be super cute. And then I really like the tribal patterns too. But for right now, I think this is kind of a good place to start. I don't know what's up with my computer. It's still taking forever to export, but I've made some progress with my nail Manny idea. And I think we're going places. Things are happening and I'm really excited about it. I wanted to use all of the colors from the Colores de Carol collection, but I ended up just using the warm colors. So I've got the pink, um, the red, the yellow, and the orange. And I came up with this. I think these look awesome. You can't really see the holographic that much in this lighting. So I think I might do a coat of fairy dust on top of it before I stamp the pattern just to really pump up the glitter and the sparkle factor. It is that time when I try to pretend that I'm like super energetic, that I have lots of energy and that I could just keep going for days. But that is not so. I am exhausted. It is like 8.30 right now. I did my nails, but I'm tired <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna like do the stamping part of it, but like the smoosh or the smooshy kind of marbling technique worked out really well. And then I added a coat of fairy dust on top of it because who doesn't love fairy dust? Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do the stamping on it tomorrow because honestly I did like kind of glob on the nail polish. So I wanna make sure that it like dries nicely before I start doing the stamping. And honestly, I'm just way tired and I want to go upstairs and relax. This whole weekend seemed just kind of like chill. And I really, really like weekends like that. Weekdays are kind of busy. Like we're running here, we're going there, we're going to parks, we're doing this, we're doing laundry and chores and stuff. So it was kind of nice just having a relaxing couple of days. Kind of wish I got more done, to be honest, but what are you gonna do? But anyway, I think I'm going to go to bed because I am tie tie. I'm very tie tie. So I'm gonna go to sleep, take all this makeup off, although it's like pretty much rubbed off by this point. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you enjoy the vlog and we will be back at it tomorrow. I feel like tomorrow is gonna be much better than last Monday. So cross your fingers. It'll be a good day. We're gonna have fun, positive thinking, good sleeping, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.